And we are live. How is everybody doing? Sunday, September 13th, 2020. Surface Duo in the house. Hope everybody's had a good week uh, here in Las Vegas. It's been an interesting week. The heat broke, so it's a bit, a little bit better uh, in terms of the weather. So hope wherever you are, everybody is doing okay. I got the Surface Studio here in the house, and we're going to thank somebody from our channel for his uh, awesomeness. So we'll definitely get that going. I see we have 40 for of you watching today so far on the live stream how is everybody doing all right I'm all dressed up for you once again as we're approaching a hundred thousand subscribers i think we need about 750 or so uh hopefully we'll get it by one more week and we should be able to celebrate 100,000 subscribers okay so uh what we have here today is this it's the surface duo and um I like it. You know, I saw a lot of negative reviews uh, on the internet and on uh, YouTube and so forth. And I'm not really sure why everybody's bashing this. This is a very good device. First gen device. It does have some software issues, but they're going to issue patches. They've already issued a, a patch already on this and you will see a difference in it so far. Um, so I tweeted out yesterday. Uh, let me get to that tweet. Um, and it went crazy. The tweet has over 500 likes by now. And it also was liked by none other than Panos Panay. I saw he liked it. And that's good. He, he's the head of Surface. Listen, they didn't give me this device, right? Uh, also, I think Chris Capicella, who's the marketing chief there at Microsoft, also liked it. So that's good. A lot of higher ups saw this maybe they're watching now if you are hello <laughs> uh, love your device i think you, you're onto something here uh, as far as um the microsoft duo is concerned uh, i didn't buy this one so just for everybody to know it was because of uh let's put this on here because of viral uh, a member of our channel who's a fantastic guy uh you can check him out here on Twitter and he's a he's a cool, cool dude and he sent this to me he ordered it he's going to use it for himself and he sent it to me uh and I'm just you know speechless I'm so uh, appreciative of what he he's done because uh, you know my budget's kind of tight right now because of everything I had to buy out of pocket so thank God that he is a great member of the channel and you could all thank him for uh, sending this over and I will be sending it back in one piece hopefully <laughs> I, I didn't drop it or anything everything I'm handling it with very uh, a lot of love and care so you'll be getting it back very soon I just want to do uh, obviously my full testing and I will send it back to you so you can enjoy your little toy or gadget or whatever you want to call it but I actually like it now I know a lot of people uh, were not happy with it uh, with well a lot of the reviewers if you want to call that reviews uh, they bashed it. A lot of the big, big ones bashed it. And I just don't see it. Uh, maybe call me, you know, whatever you want to call me, but I like it. I think it's something that's pretty good. It's got a nice form factor. If you understand what it is, I don't consider this a phone, although you can make phone calls. I think it's something else. I think it's uh, a, a communicator. It's a productivity device. It's a lot of things. And let me move my microphone over here and you can see here that and i'll lay it flat that you can see let me move the box out of the way packaging by the way is very premium you can use the surface pen we'll talk about that in a moment uh, i also have the uh, uh the fold one i have the fold two coming uh this week so we'll be talking about that as well oh end of the week we should get it but here you can see the two displays, uh, five point, whatever it is, 5.96 inches each or whatever it is, 5.6 inches each. Uh, I did the video. I dropped my unboxing video this morning. So for those that didn't see it, check it out. Uh, it, it's uh, doing well so far. Um, and you have two displays. You have a hinge here. Let's talk about the hardware first. And you can see here. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's such beautiful hardware. Gorilla Glass front and back. 
absolutely gorgeous. Glacier white is the color. Now this hinge is fantastic. And let me, let me move the microphone here. I want you to hear this because I showed it in the video, but listen to this. Let's move the camera here. I mean, it sounds fantastic. Uh, opening it up, you can put it like one-handed use. If you want to, you get, you also have a fingerprint scanner on the side. It's a, it's a wide display. And if you like wide displays, you're going to love it. If you like multitasking, you're going to love it. Now, one of the things people, I think, were using it wrong, they didn't understand how the gestures worked. Um, you can have more than one app open. If I open YouTube on one end and I open Twitter on the other, it is fantastic. I can watch a YouTube video and I could, you know, look at Twitter, check my email. You could have multiple apps open and that's been pretty good. Okay, so I see we have uh, 57 of you in the live stream. Now, it's using Android 10.0, and it's working okay. Listen, they issued a patch to it. It's working much better, and I think we're going to see a lot more patches and so forth to keep it going, you know, to keep this uh, looking much better. Now, it's, of course, it's not perfect, and... The display is gorgeous. Now, these two displays are AMOLED displays. And you can see here, you know, you can put it into like a laptop mode. You could do it all sorts of things. Uh, you've seen so many videos on it. Uh, I tend to use it like this and just like a book mode. Great for ebooks, by the way. If you like ebooks, then that is pretty good. All right, so I see a lot of you are loving your duos. Let's uh, get this uh, going here. Drew Lips, loving your duo. Great, man. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting device. By the way, I had to do today's live stream at 9 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, and the reason I wanted to do it earlier today is I have a, a, a pre-commitment, -com a pre again, engagement to go to, so I cannot stay longer than an hour, so that will, uh, of course, I can only do this an hour today, but I wanted to focus on the duo today. Uh, yes, it's going to come with, uh, it, I'm sure they're going to update it to Android 11. Now, the, a couple of things that you have to be aware of with this device, Snapdragon 855, uh, that's not the latest processor, but we know that. That's not a big deal to me because it's working fine. It's got six gigabytes of RAM, working fine. Uh, 128 gigabytes of storage, or you can get 256. Now, it's not cheap. It's $1399, and $1399 is certainly a lot to pay for a first-generation device. But I got to tell you, the hardware is fantastic. Now, some people might not like the bezels, but you're going to need somewhere to hold this when you're like this, playing a game, or you like this, and you're gonna to have to have somewhere to hold it. And without any bezels, you're gonna have a lot of inadvertent touches and so forth. So that is, um, and that's pretty interesting. I don't know if Android Auto works on this. Uh, that's a good question, I could look into that. Uh, that would be a good question. It's a great sales rep tool. And, and they, here's the thing. If you're going to compare it to something like this, which is the Fold, and I'm going to have the Fold 2 coming, as I mentioned, uh, very different devices as far as I'm concerned. Here they are side to side. This is the Fold 1. I expect to get the Fold 2 or probably end of the week. Um, and very different devices. I use them a little bit differently. Uh, you can open multiple apps on the Fold. You can also, obviously, I prefer when I have multiple apps to have two separate displays to do two separate things with it. So that to me is pretty good. Uh, the Fold 1 is a, is a, it was like a beta device, let's be honest. It's a very expensive beta device. Uh, but I think the Fold 2 from everything I've read and the reviews I've seen, uh, all say it's a really much more polished, although still not 100%, but much more polished uh, device uh, going going forward. Now, this uh, is, uh, again, a Gen 1 product. And I got to say, I got to give my hats, my, take my hat off to Microsoft for doing a good job on that. All right, I see we have 58 of you watching. And... Yeah, the fingerprint sensor is pretty interesting, Dave. Uh, it's on the side. Um, it works really well. Let's uh, let's get over here. Um, let me close this. And you just go like that. 
And it works really well. I like the placement. It's actually working pretty well. No face recognition or anything like that. I don't care about that. I'd rather have a good fingerprint scanner, and it works really well so far. The Fold 2 should be a, a big upgrade um, to the Fold 1, which is what I have here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get mine hopefully end of the week. It's supposed to come, and we can show them. I, I want to get this back to Viral because... Uh, you know, I want him to be able to enjoy this uh, duo as well. So good. he's been some more than generous. I don't want to keep it too long from him. Again, some people are going to criticize 855 due to 865 requiring additional 5G hardware doesn't pack into the form factor so well. So probably higher power draw. Probably uh, we'll see an upgrade on this at some point. And I'm, I'm expecting that. Um, Next iteration will make improvements. It's like anything. And, and, and when they released the Surface Pro devices, uh, it took a couple of iterations. I think the Surface Pro 3 is where we saw a really big improvement uh, in that in that, in that uh, area. So, yeah, I definitely think that that would be uh, uh, definitely improving as we go along. Let's take some of other questions. Tally Ho. How are you, my friend? We're almost there. We're almost there. Uh, we should get there probably next week. One of my uh, one of the first early people I ever followed on YouTube. If you guys don't check out Talio Tech, man, he's fantastic. Especially you love Dell, all laptops and so forth. The XPS line, uh, he is fantastic. Um, Uh, JV, as Jevy is saying, Android application optimization is really in need for this innovation. Got to be honest, the Surface 2 is really good for business users uh, or business uses. I agree. I see a lot of use case scenarios for these two displays. Uh, and of course, it's slipping around. It's glass. I didn't put the bumper on I, for a couple of reasons. I don't want to... Uh, I'd like to let uh, Viral, since it's his device, let him put it on if he wants to choose to use it. Uh, so I'm going to use it without it. Uh, again, I'll be very extra careful. I want to get it to him in pristine condition. Um, but for use case scenarios, I mean, look, when you see these closed, business users are going to probably gravitate to something like this, perhaps uh, a wider display. This front facing display of the Fold 1 to me was pretty useless. As you can see, it's, it's uh, not great, but the... Uh, Fold 2 has a bigger display, or the Galaxy Fold, Z Fold 2G, whatever they're calling it, uh, definitely has um, a bigger front-facing display that takes up more of the front, and it'll have a pinhole camera, and then there'll be a bigger uh, inside display, and you'll, have, uh, you'll be able to have a little bit more real estate and a sharper device, and it's going to be 120 hertz. So again, I think these are very two different devices. This is, I think, more consumer oriented. This might be more business focused, but again, I find this a lot of utility in this. I mean, look at this build quality is bar none. Some of the this is this is one of the best devices I've seen in a very long time uh, in terms of hardware. I mean, this hardware is fantastic, and they'll and they'll issue patches, they'll issue software updates. They're going to make this better. It fits in a pocket. As you see here, jacket pocket, not a problem. Uh, really, really good. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be getting a uh, pre -tea. I'm going to be getting that into the studio probably the end of the week. I don't want to keep my duo too long. It's not mine, actually. It's Viral's. So as soon as I am uh, done with testing, I'll hopefully get that there. Hopefully we can get the two together. We can show a comparison between the two. You know, that's where I don't like to call this a phone, JF. Uh, it looks pretty ridiculous, you know, if you want to make a phone call. But I think a lot of these are... are you know, if you want to hold it, you're going to have to hold it like this. You know, I have my headphones on. But, you know, it. you want to maybe use Bluetooth headphones with it. Uh, I find this, you know, some people are going to use this as their main device. Uh, I might want to use this as a secondary device. I like having this instead of having a tablet with me. Uh, if you want to carry a main phone, carry this with you. It's a pretty interesting device. Now you can make phone calls on this. It's fine. It's I've tested it. It works well. So you can have both if you want. So pretty interesting stuff.
How do you like the live stream today, people? Uh, we've got 70 of you watching. We're talking about the Galaxy Fold 1. <laughs> no, we're talking about the Surface Duo live in the studio here today. If you are not a member of my channel or subscribe to my channel, rather, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We will do a lot more coming up on this channel. I got a lot of exciting stuff. Uh, it will be great. So check it out. Hit the like button. It helps get things disseminated out through uh, YouTube and so forth. Uh, the Z Fold 2 will be better. Absolutely a definite improvement in that regard. Price is $1,399, Hector. Uh, it gets you 128 gigabytes of um, storage, non-expandable storage. It also gives you 6 gigabytes of RAM. If you want to pay $100 more, you can get 256 uh, on this one. Now, the Fold 2, which is the Fold 1, of course, you could pick that up for, uh, what is it, $2,000 US, which is a very, these are very, very expensive topics. So, yeah, that's really, really interesting. Now, it's not for everybody because, again, $2,000 is a lot to pay for any device, right? Let alone a phone or a communicator, whatever you want to call it. So definitely, definitely expensive, not for everybody. But if you're a tech enthusiast like I am, or if you just like these kind of devices, you're going to like it, okay? So there you go. Michael, I'm glad you like the live stream. Michael LaRocco, thanks for joining us. Uh, right now, it's 9.22 a.m. I'm going to keep this to an hour today. I have somewhere to go after it. So I'm glad you guys are liking it. If anybody's not subscribed to my channel, check it out. All right, stream is good. I'm glad to hear that. How is the audio? I hope the audio is sounding good as well as the video because that's, of course, important. Is it bulky in the front pocket? No, not at all. It's a very thin device. As you can see, they're very thin. Uh, I could put it in this pocket. No, no problem. Or this pocket. Not bulky at all. So if you're wearing a jacket, if you're in a business meeting, pull this out. There you go. And there you go. Now, it has the glance feature. So again, a lot of people don't like the fact that there's no outside display. But it does have a peak feature, which shows you which shows you the um, time and date and messages and so forth. All right, we got our first super chat of the day. It's uh, a super chat, PHP, I don't know what that is, 125, but whatever it is, thank you. Don't really do YouTube donations like this, but I think you really deserve it. I love how you interact with people on the live stream. 100,000 100, subs coming up. Thank you so much. For Jevy's uh, generous donation. You, my friend, are a legend. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, it gives me a chance to interact with everybody. Really, really do like it. So I'm glad you are able to join us today. And thank you for that super chat. I'm glad you like it, uh, JS. Uh, best way around. Okay, uh, be, best way around notifications to use a wearable. That, okay, good point. Now I have a couple of wearables. I don't have them in front of me here, but uh, again, another way some people are talking about how to use this is with a smartwatch. Now you can you can pair it with like any other Android device. You can pair it with something like a Tick Watch, a Samsung Galaxy Watch Three, or something to that effect. It'll work. So. Absolutely, you can do that. That's a great, great suggestion. And I will maybe show that in the uh, full review video. Yeah, uh, Aditya, yeah, it's a premium device. Uh, I'm going to wait to get the Fold 2 to make a judgment on it because this is Fold 1 and not quite as good in terms of the build as this, of course. But uh, I can't wait to, you, to wait to see that and so forth. All right, we're going to have to get rid of some people I see. Okay. So we'll see. Yeah, I, I, can't, I mean, I'm using it so far, and I don't know where all these reviewers are coming from. Uh, I don't know if they're using it properly. I'm not really sure what to make of that. I'm not really sure what to make of that. Uh, I like this form factor. I think it's pretty interesting. 
I'll keep this over there. Uh, pretty interesting form factor. Yeah, it's a little bit hot, a little bit hot. I might take it off. Maybe that's not a bad idea. Wanted to dress up for you guys today. Better. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Kareem, for looking out for me. So JS is saying, bringing up another good point as well. He's saying it fills a small niche, yes, but Microsoft planned for an actual need and use case versus just thinking, hey, it'll be cool to build a case with a second screen. It's a Surface first, a phone second. Yeah, it's a Surface device. Uh, and I think that's where people are starting to think this is a phone first and they're going to be disappointed. I think it's definitely a, uh, a Surface first. If it's a Surface device, how you use it will be dependent on the user. A tablet mode, use it like a book, like an ebook reader. Uh, it makes for a great ebook reader because look at this. I mean, the perfect form factor, flipping pages through it. I mean, it's fantastic for uh, ebook reading, looking at PDFs, answering emails, so forth. Really, really good. Now, one of the things I want to talk about also today is the Surface Pen. Now, I have my original Surface Pen here working really well with it. I mean, you know, it just does what it, you expect it to do. It'll, you can, uh, hold on, let me, there. You can sc scroll between the different um, displays and so forth, take notes with one note. It works well. Um, so you have a lot of ability with this. And uh, let me just pull, pull up something. Maybe I can start scribbling on something. Well, that's loading up. Let me get that loaded in. But in the meantime, let's take another question as I get that loaded up. Yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of potential here. A lot of potential. I mean, it does have bugs. And, and it's acting up a little bit right now. Let me close all these. Okay, hold on. Okay, so yeah, it does have some bugs. I'm not going to say it doesn't. Clear all. Okay. All right, we'll, we'll get some note taking later. But you can use the pen with this. Working, working okay. And there you go. Okay, we're going to see the Windows. I know Mike Jones uh, Jr. wants to have uh, it run Windows. Yeah, I think this form factor lends it well to uh, Android, as what you see here. But I think we're going to see it with the Neo, the bigger device. It's going to run a form of Windows. I think it's Windows X. And it should be a very interesting device. I can't wait to see it. I think it's coming out next year. So we'll see. All right, we're so far 79 of you in the live stream, 28 minutes in. I'm going to keep it to an hour today because I do have to be somewhere. Yeah, uh, we had a problem last week. Uh, people just kept spamming. If you keep spamming, you're going to get uh, thrown out. So let's just keep it there and so forth, okay? So uh, either you're going to get a timeout or thrown out by one of the moderators. Not cool, man, not cool. Okay. Now, uh, Muda Sierra says, you like my review of laptops? Great. I purchased a laptop after checking your reviews. Thanks for such good content. Yeah, I got a lot of good stuff coming, man. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, let me show you this, Keith. Uh, let's, let's run a YouTube uh, video. So if you go to the YouTube, let me put the fold over here for the side for the moment. All right, so we have it here. We say we want to get a YouTube video. So what you have to do, and let me get closer here. You go like this, you go to the middle, and there. Now you have a YouTube video. Now, if you want to, let's say if I want to run a, I want that app, hold on. So I want to run a video, I go to my uh, library, I got one of my videos so I don't get a copyright strike, and let's check out today's video, which is a Surface Duo. Now, this is not ideal. So this is not ideal, right? because you have this. But where this might become pretty interesting is if you take it off the full screen. 
and you can just do it like that. I, I don't. I tend to like it. Ha I like it one sided, like this. And then if I want to have another app open, like Twitter, while I'm watching videos, uh, to me having one on one side and one on the other, but having it um, in the middle like this doesn't lend itself to it. But actually, if you go like this, I'm still working out the gestures here. Hold on. See, and now I'm sort of, yeah. I mean, you can see it, but, and then, well, I don't want it to rotate, but you get the, you get the gist. Anyway, you get the gist, right? Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Um, it wasn't working so well before the update. With the update, it's working better. Now, you can do it in like a laptop mode. I'm still working that out, how to do that. But here, what you can do also, they also show you, you could have paired apps. So you can discover like one with YouTube on one side, Microsoft uh, News on the other. Again, all kinds of scenarios, a lot of potential to get a lot of productivity. You could have email up, you can have all sorts of things going on. So there you can see it. Pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I, I, I'm probably using that wrong at that point. You got to give some time with this. I've had 24 hours, a little bit more than 24 hours with it at this point. Uh, it does have to, um, and again, they can improve the software, as I mentioned, but a lot of potential here. And it's working fine. For what I needed to do, it's working fine. Yeah, we'll see. It's going to be a bigger device as far as the, uh, the Neo is concerned. I'm glad, Aditya, you like my channel, man. Cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got to... Okay, so let me put it in laptop mode. Let's see. Let's bring in, say, Twitter. And I'm probably doing this wrong. Hold on. So if I go to YouTube... Oh, wait, you know what? Hold on. Auto rotate. I'm not really sure. I got to figure this out. Again, it's still a little bit of beta product here. Okay. It's hard to find even one single review of the X13 Yoga OLED. Yeah, I don't have that. Uh, hopefully, they'll be sending that to me at some point. I don't know. Yeah, nobody, I don't think anybody has it. Yes, you can run YouTube and Chrome side by side. Uh, let's see. So, we're going to put YouTube on this one. And then, let's go to Chrome on the other. There it is. So, yes, you can have Chrome on one end. And then I didn't sign in Chrome on that. But yes, you can have two, two screens going like that. It is buggy. Sure, Benjamin. Uh, they're going to fix it, I think, with software updates. So for sure, they're going to do that. Yeah, they're going to make the wing announcement tomorrow. will be interesting to see the software on that. Uh, absolutely. Got my Lenovo mug here, having some coffee. Uh, pretty, pretty good stuff. All right. Tech for your needs is in the house. How are you, my friend? Super chats are open. Super stickers are open. Memberships have been growing. So if you want to become a member of the channel, go ahead. It helps support the channel. Helps me get different devices. Uh, according to Maury, it would be nice to see a Microsoft Surface, a Windows laptop, and Microsoft Duo ecosystem. How do you see that? Well, I think the way they're, they're positioning this right now is they're going to have this obviously running uh, Android. And uh, and then the, uh, the Neo, the bigger one, is going to run a, a fork of Windows, of course. And so that would be pretty interesting. Uh, they work well. I mean, look, this is like any other Android device in the sense that you can get um, 
you know, you know, have a smartwatch with it. You can use it like any other Android device. It's as simple as that. They 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 were smart, I think, in choosing Android because it's a uh, an established operating system. They failed with Windows Phone, so I think it was just made a lot of sense. Yeah, man, it's approaching hundred thousand. I should get it by next week. By next week, hopefully, we'll see. Battery life has been surprisingly good so far. Uh, I really was surprised about that. Uh, I talk about it in my unboxing video, which I uh, dropped today. Let's see how it's doing so far. Uh, let's see. It's uh, got, I think it's gotten over 1,000 views already. Yeah, about 1,200 views, and I released it about an hour ago. Uh, so it's looking pretty decent right now. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's been pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, in fact, this is the video I'm referring to. Let me pull it up here. Let me go back to here. And let me choose the video. Hold on. And here you see it. I released it this morning. And... It's uh, doing okay. So let me scrub ahead a little bit. Thank you, Viral, of course. So I unboxed it this morning. For those that didn't see it, check it out. I released it this morning. Um, it's uh, hardware is unparalleled. It's that good. I mean, the engineering that went into that hinge is absolutely fantastic, as you can see here. Uh, really, really good. The buttons on it are really good. They feel really good. Every They paid a lot of attention to detail, which is pretty amazing. Uh, engineering, I think. Uh, you don't normally see that. You don't normally see that. Uh, there you can see the USB-C port. Now, that's how you char charge it, of course. It's an 18-watt fast charger in the box, but there is no, um, you, uh, there's no headphone jack, so keep that in mind, but that's been most devices now, so nothing too uh, crazy in terms of uh, lack of a port, but most people are not putting, most manufacturers are not putting headphone jacks in right now. So, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty interesting Uh, yeah, the, the special gestures are definitely what throws most things like swiping from the bottom. You pull the dock instead of the bottom edge, for instance. Absolutely. Uh, I got a little bit confused with that as well. But as you use it, you get a little bit better with it as you go along. So, yes, good point there, uh, JS. You could run it in mobile or desktop mode. I've had no issues with either one, Bruce. You can use both. All right, let's talk about the, the speaker on this, and then we'll talk about the camera. Uh, and the video, we can, we can end the video here. Uh, anybody who wants to see it, of course, uh, you know where to find it. So... Okay, so the speaker on this is a mono speaker. It doesn't sound bad. It, it, it's actually better than I expected. I, wasn't, I didn't have high hopes for it. Uh, I could bring it to the microphone. Let's play a recent video, not live video, but let's do my Surface Duo just to give you an idea. So that is the audio. And what I like about it is you can use it folded like this, just like a regular phone. Again, very wide. Uh, when it's like this, it's a four to three aspect ratio. When it's unfolded and open, it is a three to two aspect ratio like any other Surface device. So pretty, pretty interesting. So if you just get used to the gestures, there you go. It takes a little, get you know, I would say it takes about a couple of days to a week to get fully comfortable with this type of device. But once you do, you'll be fine.
Yeah, they're trying, uh, Keith. They're trying. And we're going to these type of form factors. We're going to be seeing from other manufacturers as well. So we'll see. Uh, I didn't try it yet because it's not mine, Tech for Your Needs. It's Viral's, who's a member of our channel. And I, don't, I want to let him put it on. I don't want to let him have that experience. I don't want to use it with that. Yeah, we, I had a Mallory. I had to do it uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time. I have something to do uh, right after. So I had to pull, move it up an hour. And there, and then I obviously, yeah, I'm going to keep it to an hour today, Mallory. So yeah, yeah. Uh, what can they improve in Gen 2? I'd like to see dual speakers. I'd like to see a camera. Now, speaking of the camera, I'd like to see a secondary camera is what I'm saying. Camera wasn't bad. Camera wasn't bad. Um, so let me, let me show you some shots here. So this is the video. It's 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now you have to, if you want a selfie, just fold it. You could unfold it as I'm doing here. You can, you can sort of see it through my sunglasses. Uh, one is the viewfinder. One screen is the viewfinder and the other one is, uh, the controls and so forth. So that's been pretty good. And then you can flip it around and then use it as a secondary camera or like a main camera. Uh, 60 frames per second uh, is the best it can do in 1080p. It's not um, it's not 4K. There's no 4K that I'm aware of. Uh, this is a daylight, and the sun sunlight was very good. Um, let me get to the uh, photos here. So this is the video. Play a little bit. Um, and so what you're going to see is decent photographs in uh, daylight. Uh, at night, I'm going to test and we'll do more testing. It's not going to be the best in light. This is not the main focus of this device, uh, people. Uh, there you can see it. Uh, definitely not bad. Uh, not a bad camera. I don't know. They were bashing it terribly in a lot of these reviews. Uh, I didn't think it was too bad. It was. I would definitely say it's adequate for if you need to take a photo at a pinch, you need to do some video, you can definitely do it. Not the best, of course. Again, they're not touting this as being a, a camera first type device. This is a productivity device. So if you understand the use case scenario, then there you can see it. I would. Uh, Edmund, but that's just me. I would use it as my main phone. Absolutely. I have no problem with that. I would have no problem because of the way I use it. I don't make many phone calls. So uh, I do a lot of texting. I do a lot of watching videos on my phones. I do a lot of multitasking. So this is where it really comes in. This is where it really shines. I could have my email opened on one end, on one display, a video running on the other, Spotify running. You could do all sorts of things. That's what I like about this. Um, yeah, it's not too loud. I, again, I would like to have, uh, no, it sounds pretty good, uh, Tech Realm. It's not bad uh, for a mono speaker, but it's not dual speakers. It's not going to sound, you could use obviously Bluetooth headphones. It'll sound fantastic. Uh, but then again, yeah. So you can do 4K. Okay, I, I didn't test it yet. I didn't test it yet, JS. Exactly. So you get it. JS, you get it. Uh, this is what you would use it for Microsoft Teams. It could do Zoom calls and so forth. It definitely can get the job done. Not bad. I, I don't think it's bad. Dave is saying here, uh, really would look into this as a second generation. I'm more interested in productivity phone. I think this quality of their engineering form factor is significant and industry leading. Yeah, they're going to get better. Anytime uh, the Microsoft Surface team releases a product, they get it really right the second and third time. And that's what we saw with the Surface devices, right? Uh, it kept getting better each and every time. Yeah, Paul, it's pretty interesting. Uh, here you can see the pros and cons. I like the hardware. The, the, there's no NFC. But you can get a smartwatch that would take care of that need. No water resistance. Uh, but again, I'm not expecting it on this. No secondary camera. And it's a mono speaker. The OS is buggy. They will have to issue some more updates. Yeah. But that's a first gen pro product. But the hardware is first rate. I got to say that. Okay. Perfect. 
Okay. So, yeah. So that, if you guys didn't, you watched most of the video here, <laughs> but if you didn't see it, uh, again, after I'm done, I'll drop the link or just go to my channel. You definitely can get it done. I would recommend for somebody who's, Maury, I would recommend for somebody who's in sales, this would be a fantastic device on the road that needs to take notes with a pen and uh, somebody who needs to sign documents as well. This is another good one, that good use case scenario, PDFs, sign PDFs with the dual screen. It's a, a pretty good in that regard. So yeah. All right, let me take you off of the video here. And so you'd be like using it like with this. Da, 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 da. I'm left-handed. Da, 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 da. You can sign documents. Uh, and again, I want to show you also that um, I don't think they intended this, but this pen will magnetically connect. I like it like this better. It magnetically connects to the device. Now, they have that slim pen that you saw with the Surface Pro X uh, would work well with this because it's a little bit thinner and smaller. But I'm using the original Surface pen that I have. The, that I use with my Surface Book, and it sticks pretty nicely on there. I don't know, and I, from what I understand, they didn't intend it to be that way, but a nice happy accident that it does work. Uh, what are the white? What are the white marks on the corners about? I think they have a little. Oh, these marks. Uh, it's just it's just framing things. I don't know. That I means just a, a design a thing. I know what you're talking, these little marks here. Uh, I guess it means it's a place for you to swipe, I guess. I guess that's, they're trying to tell you swipe in from there. That's a good point. I don't know. That's a good point. It might be a design aesthetics, but I think it's more to show you where the gestures are, where to start the gestures. That's my guess. You can play games. I didn't get into games yet. Um, PUBG and all that stuff. Call of Duty. Can it be played smoothly? I'm going to get into that in my next video on this. So stay tuned. But uh, it's an 855. So if you think about it, it probably will run pretty well. Uh, it's a. It's not the most latest and greatest uh, CPU, but it definitely will get the job done. That's for sure. Uh, would I, Sharky165 is asking, bottom line, would you choose this over the LG dual display offerings or the Z Fold 2? Uh, I don't have the Z Fold 2 yet, uh, Sharky, but uh, I'm liking it. I have the Fold 1 here, and I like them both. Uh, I think they're different devices, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm a big fan of the Fold, as you know, so um, very different form factors. I mean, you can always rotate it like that. But again, these are two different types of devices. Uh, I should be getting that at the end of next week. So it should be, we'll get a good comparison going. Steve Marks is saying, I love the form factor. I'm sure next gen will be tons better than this one. Uh, love appearance too. Yeah, uh, form factor is what sold me on this. And I think uh, they a lot of these reviewers were un unnecessarily harsh on them uh, for that. Uh, having that, um, the uh, what do you call it, the hinge in the middle, as opposed to having a crease. So pick your poison, right? Some people criticize this for having the crease, which you can see here pretty clearly right there. See, it reflects the crease there. Um, you can see where it folds, and then you can definitely feel it there. Uh, this one is visible, but I like multitasking on it. You can multitask on this, but I like multitasking on this even better. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a big Surface fan, Dave, so future versions of this will be preferable to the Note. Yeah, it could be. Again, I think a lot of updates, they can improve the device, but for a first outing, I think they did a good job, uh, unlike uh, some other people's opinion of the device. Let me get a little coffee here. But I like the ability to use the pen. You can't use the pen with a fold. Not yet. That's going to come down in the future. A next generation fold. But I look forward to, you know, showing these uh, the Fold 2 when I get it. This is the Fold 1. Now, speaking of the Fold 1, you can get it on Swappa for about eight to 800 to 1,000, depending on the condition. So... You know, it's still a very capable device, and if you're pretty interested in it, but you didn't want to spend the 1900 and plus dollars that it 
was debuting at, uh, you can definitely get it uh, on Swappa for less if you can be you know diligent, look at it. So you never know. So keep checking Swappa. Uh, absolutely, Dave. When this is closed, it's protected. So, and it's got Gorilla Glass on both sides. Pretty tough too. Uh, you know, I'm trying to be nice with it because it's not mine. So uh, I have to give it back to Viral. But yeah, it's pretty durable. I can say that. Ten minute warning. Yeah, I wanted to keep it to an hour. Thank you, Danica. How are you, by the way? I don't know if I said hello. Uh, so according to John, wrong camera I had there. This item can't touch the, fold, the Galaxy Z Fold Two. The Galaxy was well thought out. It's a superior product. I'm sure they improve it. Uh, it's a to me, John. I agree. the The Z Fold Two is a great device. I can't wait to get it. From everything I've read and from my use with this one, the Fold One, I'm loving it. So I'm a big fan of it as well. Uh, as far as the um, the Duo. I think this form factor is a little bit different. It's a wider form factor. It's got two separate displays. And I found that to be the key with this use of this device. Really, really interesting how to be productive with that. And I'm, this is yours, Viral, so congrats. <laughs> I'm taking good care of it. Most of the Z Fold 2 orders are delayed. Please check yours. Mine got delayed from 17th to 29th. I didn't check mine yet. I, I It looked like it was on target, so I'm supposed to get it on the... 17th or the 18th i don't remember but i'll double check thank you though i will check think of this as a dual screen device that happens to make phone calls uh think of the fold as a foldable tablet that makes phone calls yep rafi rafe uh yes definitely uh, a good point that's where I think a lot of the reviewers got it wrong because they're they're looking at it from the wrong perspective. This is a dual screen device that just happens to make phone calls. That is, a, it's a Surface device, right? That's how you got to think of it. Whereas the Fold Two is a foldable tablet that makes phone calls. I agree. I think that's a, a good way to put it. If you want to see notifications, just fold it backwards and keep the screen out. So you have to be like that, and there you go. But uh, and then you get the peak, you know, the peak of the, the different, the time and the messages and so forth. Yes, you can, you can, you can connect any, it's just like any other, uh, Android device connected to a galaxy watch. You can connect it to an active watch two from Samsung. You could connect it to the tick watch pro that I reviewed in the past. Thank you, my friend, Meyer. I hope you're doing well. We're approaching uh, 53 minutes. We're going to keep it to an hour today, people. A nice little chat on the, uh, on the Surface Duo. Let's keep going a little bit more, take more of your questions, and we'll end it on that note. Okay, so just going through some of these uh, questions and comments in the chat. You guys have been great today. I'm just looking for different questions here. Uh, here's another good question from Jan. How are you, my friend? Uh, will this come to Europe? Uh, I think it will at some point. Right now, I think it's only United States. Why? I don't know. Uh, Microsoft tends to do that. Uh, why And why is it not compatible with all phone operators? I don't know. I put the bands that it supports in my video uh, from this morning. So check it out in the spec section. You'll see if you get all the bands. Now, here in the United States, I confirmed it works with uh, Verizon. It works with AT&T, T-Mobile. It's a, if you get the unlocked one, of course, and it all works. So I have not had any issue. You can use it with Project or Google Fi, rather. Uh, had no issue with that either, which utilizes the T-Mobile network. Um, so it's it's been pretty good. As far as here in the United States, I don't know outside the United States. Check the bands to see if it would be supported. And I don't know when it's going to come to other countries, hopefully sooner rather than later. 
Uh, I'm going to check that, Rafe, uh, whether a USB dongle is available to use with wired headphones. I think you can, but again, I haven't checked that yet. There's no headphone jack, people. So you'd have to use the USB-C adapter or get a USB-C adapter dongle. Uh, Dave is asking, which is more stable in one hand? No 20 Ultra, tall, top heavy, or a Surface Duo folded back? I haven't, I have only handled the Surface of the, the Note 20 Ultra a couple of times. This is a very wide form factor. So it's, uh, and here you can see your notifications and so forth when it's folded, like he was saying earlier. Uh, it's a wide display, which has its benefits and its cons. If you have a big hand, I have a sort of a big hand, so it's not a problem for me. Uh, I actually prefer it. This is a four to three aspect ratio, whereas uh, when it's folded out, then it becomes a three to two aspect ratio. So it's very interesting form factor to say the least whether the note 20 ultra it's a thin it's a it's a taller heavier device or top heavy maybe so yeah it might be a little bit different in terms of the hand again a lot of that's going to depend on your personal preferences all right people we're gonna we're approaching an hour i think we're gonna start calling it a day here uh depending or night depending on where you are but i've been uh really happy with uh, this turnout here today a nice little turnout not the most people we, we've ever had but uh, i will be back with laptops and so forth i got a lot of stuff of that coming up i got more on the surface duo i got the galaxy fold 2 coming up if it's not delayed hopefully it's not uh, but we have a lot of lot more content coming. Again, those for you, thank you for the super chats today. Thank you all the moderators for doing such a fantastic job. Uh, I'm gonna sign off here and I will see everybody on the next live stream. I got it somewhere to go. That's why I had to do it at nine o'clock today. Kept it a little brief today. Uh, maybe I will do a bonus show in the middle of the week. Let's see how things go. I got a lot of laptops on the way. So I'm gonna be very busy, busy this week. But until next time, this is Andrew, and I will see you in the next live stream. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.